My name is Joe McCreary. I'm one of the founding members of Bus for Life. Last Wednesday, July 26th, we had 15 offensive linemen from the University of Colorado visit 25 plus kids at Children's Hospital in Aurora. Children's Hospital Colorado serves patients across our seven state region and we're out here in Aurora and we have the CU um, offensive line out here today visiting some of our patient and families across the hospital. What does it mean to the children to have these athletes come in and visit them? Yeah, it means so much. It really just brightens their day and I think it's a nice break between medical procedures and you know pokes and prods to have someone come in and have something fun um, and have a nice fun experience with these athletes and it means so much to our team members as well um, to see our kiddos smile. We had one goal in mind that day, to bring a smile to every kid's face, to engage with their parents, and try and bring a little happiness to everybody that we visited. I don't really like okay. Okay. Or basketball. Just play. Oh, you just play? That's cool. It's awesome. Yeah. You're yeah. a shooter? No. <laughs> I'm a big. Oh. I'm a postcard. You got a rebound? No, fine. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Reggie. I play a lot. I'm Jack, I also play off as a line. Dan Will, center. Well, uh, Savion, I play right tackle. I don't know how many of that is, but... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this was the second time that Buffs for Life has organized a children's hospital visit. COVID put a halt to these visits back in 2020. It was very important to me to get these visits back on track. In my opinion, the Children's Hospital visit is instrumental in teaching compassion, which is the foundation of everything that we do at Bus for Life. You've got three different levels, right? Yeah. Yeah, I was figuring that out Are you any good at it, Savion? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I think you got to pull the red thing to the other side. I, it's an instructional video. Oh, yeah? Oh, <laughs> Should try to play video games with the bump finger on. <laughs> I ain't never seen one of these in your life. Do I have any? Oh, yeah, I've never seen cars. That's awesome. Yeah, I was like, oh, well, can we your parents beat you? <laughs> <laughs> but I was, I was, it makes sense now. close to Christmas, you get double presents. Yeah, it's 20 <laughs> days before, December well, 5th. My birthday is December 6th. Nice, that's awesome. It was awesome. Um, I, I think we were all kind of looking forward to it all week, just to uh, you know see some kids and make sure they're doing all right. And it was super easy to talk to them, and you know, just kind of like humbling experience. And it makes you feel good knowing that you know these kids are happy to see you, and you can talk to them, and just give them that kind of experience. So I was super happy to come here today. It was a great experience. You know, our main goal was to make kids smile. And I feel like we did a pretty good job today with that. We got up on the seventh floor today and we made a lot of kids smiling. We got free swag out there for them. We got them a hat and a foam finger. And they looked real excited for it. Yeah, did a lot of kids get signed hats today? Uh, yeah, it was mostly signed foam fingers, but yeah. <laughs> they all got a hat and a foam finger if they wanted one, so we're happy to do it. It was very good. Just putting a smile on the kids' faces was really fun. You know, going around visiting a whole bunch of kids, so I had a really good time with my guys. We signed a lot of CU swag and gave it to them, so. Hopefully they'll be uh, wearing them. These student athletes got to see some suffering, some signs of hope, some signs of healing, and people struggling to move forward in their everyday lives. It put a lot of things Go Buffs. into perspective as these young men are getting ready for summer camp. Overheard in the elevator on the way down, one of the student athletes said, Wow, this was awesome. I hope we can do it again. Mm -hmm.